is the HP Deskjet 2540 printer. First thing to do is either break or cut the tape open and pry open the box. You'll want to fold back the flap so the items inside are easier to remove. Open up the smaller cardboard box inside and you'll find the accessories for your printer. First item to remove is the USB cable. On this printer you can either set it up via USB or wirelessly. Now take out the power cord and the adapter for your printer and then set them aside. We'll attach these later. Next is the installation CD for Mac and Windows. You'll need this CD to install a software for your printer. And later if you can't find the CD or if you want to check for updated drivers, you can go to hp.com forward slash support and search for new drivers for your printer model. The last items in this part of the box are the cartridges for your printer. Your printer comes with both a black and tricolor cartridge. Here's the cartridge card for your printer. You'll want to reference this when you need to replace the cartridges for your printer. Now you can pull out the small cardboard box and set it aside for recycling. Now we can remove the printer from the box. HP provides a carrying bag for your printer, which also helps you remove it from the box. Find the two handles that are on the top and then set the box on its side. Still holding those two handles, gently pull the printer out of the box. Once the printer is free from the box, remove any extra papers or manuals that might still be inside and set the box aside for recycling. Now we can remove all the packaging from the side of the printer. And just so you know, all the packaging around this printer is recyclable. You'll notice a couple of papers that came with your printer the first one is a booklet of multi-language user guide for your printer, which covers basic setup and troubleshooting. This next piece of paper is your getting started guide for your printer. This is your basic step-by-step -step guide on how to set up the hardware for your printer. It's got two sides and basically it's what we're showing you in this video, so it's really not necessary, but keep it for future reference. Now we can remove the printer from the bag. The easiest way to do this is to lift up the printer and slide it out of the bag. Once the printer is free from the bag, you can remove any tape or other packaging materials that are on or inside the printer. I like to start by taking the tape off the back of the printer. If it's easier for you, gently set the printer on its front and then just peel back the tape however you can. It's designed to come off fairly easily and not leave any residue on the printer. Next, remove the few other pieces of tape that are on the top of the printer that are holding the input tray shut. Take off the last strip that's holding the input tray. Once that's free, we'll move to the front. Take off the large strips of tape beginning at the top and then running to the underside of the printer. There should be two of these pieces of tape. You can lift up the printer without damaging it. Then remove the last piece of tape that's holding the output tray closed. Once these are removed, open the output tray. And starting at the top of the printer, remove the piece of tape on the left hand side of the ink access door. Do not completely remove this piece of tape at this time, and we'll come back to it. Then remove the tape on the right hand side, starting at the top of the printer. You'll completely remove this piece of tape. If the ink access door is not open, use the tab to open it. You can completely then remove this last piece of tape. Make sure you also remove the piece of cardboard that's attached. Once all the tape's removed, you can go ahead and close the ink access door. And you can open the top input tray, and your printer is all unpacked and ready to set up the hardware. The first thing you need to do to set up the hardware is prepare the power cables. Start by removing the twist tie that's on the power cord. Sometimes they can be a little difficult to get off. Then remove the twist tie on the power cable and adapter. Once they're removed, go ahead and stretch out the cables, and we can go ahead and plug them in. Plug the power cord into the power adapter, making sure it's firmly in place. Now we're going to plug the power cable into the back of the printer. Turn to the back of the printer and look for the purple port that matches the power cable. 
and making sure the cable's the right way. Tab on top, go ahead and plug it directly into the printer until it's firmly in place. Now go back to the front of the printer and we're gonna plug the power cord into a power source. For this video, we're using a power strip, but HP recommends that you plug your printer directly into a wall outlet to prevent any power issues. Once everything is plugged in, we'll move to the front of the printer. So if you look on the top, locate the power button and press it to power on your printer. After you press the power button, several lights will start blinking and you'll hear the printer making noise while it sets up for use. After the printer stops making noises, you can locate the cartridges that came with your printer. Use the tab on the front of the ink access door to lower it and the carriage will move in, in the middle of the printer. Now using the cartridges that came with the printer, we'll open them up and install them. As I said earlier, the printer comes with both black and tricolor, but they're very specific in which slot you need to put them in. So we'll start with the tricolor. There's a serrated top, which will help you open up the packaging. If you still can't, you can use some scissors. Remove the cartridge from the packaging. So use the orange pull tab to remove the tape covering the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. The graphic on the inside of the ink cartridge door will tell you which cartridge goes in which slot. Slide the tricolor cartridge into its correct slot on the left hand side and then push the cartridge all the way in until it snaps into place. Now we'll repeat the same process for the black cartridge. Open up the package using the serrated area and then removing the cartridge from the packaging. Then use that orange piece of tape to expose electrical contacts and ink nozzle. And then we'll install the same way, sliding it into the slot until it snaps into place. Once the cartridges are installed, you can close the ink access door and then we can load paper into your printer. Before you can actually load paper into the printer, you might need to widen the width adjustment guide this guide is located on the bottom of the input tray. You'll want to adjust this guide when using different types of media such as photo paper or envelopes. Once the guide is adjusted, tap a stack of paper on a hard surface and then slide it into the input tray. Slide the adjustment guide until it's snug against the stack. HP recommends that you install the software from the CD or HP's website, and then run the alignment tool for your printer. This will provide the best quality printouts from your printer. This was the unboxing and setup for the HP DeskJet 2540 printer.